YouTube. It's a Tuesday morning and I'm gonna go to Pilates, but something exciting. So Mother's Day is coming up. I haven't seen my family since January and I figured what if I flew home and surprised my mom? I've never really like booked a flight and surprised my family in that sense. I texted my brother, dad, and sister in a group chat and was like, hey, I'm gonna come home, just don't tell mom. So we're coordinating like who's gonna pick me up. I told one of them just like, say you're going to Target or like Dick's Sporting Goods or something. My sister has her own house, so it might be more convenient. Like she's gonna go from her house and maybe visit my parents at their house and then I'll just be in the car. So I'm super excited. I'll go home for like two days because I have some events next week that I have to be back for. Reflecting a lot on that. I've been like watching old home videos and crying. I'll probably start crying right now. I've just been like very emotional in my feels and kind of honoring that. Um, so yeah, like I'm already crying. It's literally like, it's like 11 a.m. on a fucking Tuesday, and I'm just crying a bunch. Tonight I have an event which I'll take you along to, and I'm gonna go read my book, Runner's High, in the park before Pilates. On my run yesterday, I was reflecting a lot. I was playing Taylor Swift, and I was thinking of like the type of person I was when I first started running. I was crying on that run, and I took a selfie on my run when I was crying, and I looked at that photo, and it just looked like what I looked like when I was 19, which is weird, because yeah, you always look like a version of yourself, but I just really felt the pain that I felt at 19 and how alone and isolated and like, I would go on these runs and just like feel like I'm in this huge city and nothing, you know, all the bad thoughts. I must've got on some side of TikTok last night where it was all like emotional stuff about like healing your inner child because that shit did something to my brain. So isolated and so unsure of myself and just so scared. And I had this one like TikTok image let me grab my phone because I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Image reads, I'm holding my loneliness and she's a teenage girl with puffy eyes. I love her more than I've loved anyone else. And I don't know why that just made me cry my eyes out when I was running because I think I grieve a lot about like growing up too fast. And now I'm gonna cry again, crying on YouTube, crying on YouTube check. I felt like I had to do everything on my own. I never asked for help. I was just so scared of everything and just so scared of fucking up all the time and i've come a long way um so yeah uh morning cries get your cries out i don't even know if i'm gonna post this on youtube because i'm such an ugly crier but i figured let's be raw let's be real let's cry about some inner child healing work anyways let's go to pilates love y'all after solid four. <laughs> I'm disheveled. Hello YouTube, welcome back to the vlog. I've been forgetting to vlog the past week. So I'm gonna start it off today. Today's Tuesday, CMOS Girlies Day. Went to Pilates, did some stuff. Getting ready to go to an event, so let's go over my bathroom and figure out my makeup and my vibe. It's a fashion girly event, so I have to uh, look the part. I have to look like a fashion girly, not a jock, which I'm kind of used to looking like now. Just thinking about cutting my hair when I was stoned the other day. Happy I didn't. And we're in the bathroom. I really have no idea what I want to wear. I kind of want to wear heels, but I have to walk a mile. I feel like I always just wear hokas or loafers because New York City. So thinking about that, I say heels lightly as someone who's six feet tall. They're very short, but they're just a very cute summer shoe. But I also have a really bad, really bad calf sock tan. And I'm like, maybe I rub some bronze around my feet. I've never self tan in my life. My mom, my mom didn't even teach us how to like put our hair up or wear makeup as kids, so I'm I don't have any like of that experience, and so I do not know how self tanner works. Should I have a bronzer on my feet? <laughs> Mess. <laughs> everyone, happy Wednesday. We're gonna go up to the Met. I'm gonna city bike up there. I have an event for Papier. If you don't know them, they're a stationary company. I went to a hotel a few weeks ago for a little reading staycation with them. So they're hosting me at an event at the Met. Here's my outfit. I'll show you more later, but we gotta go because we're kind of running late. So we docked our bike and let's walk to the Met. We've made it in one piece. I haven't been to the Met in a very long time. I feel like when you live in New York, I've been here for six years, you don't end up going to like the touristy spots that much. Like, I just forget that like museums exist and I live in New York City, you know? I like kind of stay in my four block radius. Music is my favorite mistress.
What's up, YouTube? We ran seven miles this morning. I've been reading a lot of the book Runner's High by Josiah Hess. I just did a little review in my TikTok. I'm like 100 pages in. If I have some time today, I'm gonna sit on my roof for like 20 minutes and read more of this book because it's fascinating. Talking about the stigmas and misconceptions about cannabis and particularly athletes, like a lot of athletes use it, but it's widely misunderstood and underreported. Also, cannabis users are a lot more healthy than their sober counterparts, which is very interesting. I'll give you a full review when the book is done, but right now, I think I'm gonna go get cryotherapy. I signed up for ClassPass, and I forget that there's like a wellness like lane on there. Most of the time, I just use it for solid core Pilates classes. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go get cryo because my body is inflamed from running, and I have my Hyperice recovery run tomorrow. So I gotta be bright and early and peppy, so why not? I'm gonna go home to Minnesota on Saturday. It's Thursday right now. My mom still doesn't know. So that's gonna be fun. She's texting me kind of like, miss you so much. We gotta come out and visit you. And I'm like, yeah. Cheers to a good week. I've been listening to Speak Now on repeat, which is awesome. And I might stop by this new cannabis store on East Third Street, I think in New York. It's, forgot, it's called Gotham. So yeah, I'll film if I get there. It looks really cool. And let's go get cryotherapy weed store and then I also need to buy a toothbrush. That's all. Okay, bye. I have to say though, this is one of my favorite fits with the Hoparas. <sighs> Love her so much. Even with the book, it matches. To say to the class, the, the vote in the comments to interview people, aka me and Matthew. No. I vote yes. Matthew votes yes. He just doesn't no. know how to say yes. How about Matthew? You do the questions. Interview. Dad, show your hat. I'm driving. Be serious. <laughs> We are in Minneapolis. We're gonna go run around the lakes. If you're from here, I'm at Lake Harriet right now, parked at my mom's car, and so I figured let's go on a little scenic run while I'm back. Probably gonna leave tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Today's Monday. Happy Monday. So, what's in my little bag here? Well, let's get into it, shall we? Um, first of all, we have Element electrolytes in my water bottle. This water bottle is by Bink. Um, it's very cute. I love it. Body Glide, anti chafing. This is so funny. I have a car and I can do like a car haul now. Um, my joggy, CBD, I didn't want to pack weed coming home because airlines, I just, that would be the worst thing if I got stopped for that. Um, lip balm, which I need right now. My mom's hyper ice gun, which I actually got for her, so technically it's mine, but hers. I'm gonna use this on my legs. Since man from our basement, I'm gonna do a little glute activation with that. I have joggy joystick, can rub this on some sore muscles. Actual run fuel, my mom has these really strange like peanut butter quest cups and then honey stingers which look like they've gotten trampled on by a car because i don't know uh they're in my suitcase i don't know what the fuck happened my dad's a computer guy and so growing up we didn't have like mac stuff i still do not know how to work like a mac computer i remember one internship we had to and i didn't know any of the commands and keyboard stuff and it took me forever to complete like a task and that's all to say i've never used airpods and these headphones are jabra they're Jabra Active Elite 7. I really enjoy them. They stay in my ear. The battery life is great. And there's different settings where they're kind of almost noise canceling, I would say. 
but I don't really have them on that setting when I'm running. So underdressed for this trip, I packed like shorts and it's kind of chilly here. So yeah, I might wear my brandy sweatpants on this run. Who knows? Also, I need to pee. I think I saw a porta potty. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be great. Yeah, let's go. Let's go run, everyone. Let's do it. We did it. Our run is done. We did five miles, negative split, so I'm kind of feeling it right now, but it felt good. Change of scenery, nostalgic memories around Lake Harriet. Um, this is my girlfriend collective. These are outdoor voices, and then we have Arahi Sixes, Garmin Forerunner 265S. I'm gonna go to Whole Foods and get myself a little Bev, maybe some rotisserie chicken, who knows? Get crazy, but that was the run. That's Monday morning. <laughs> All right, what's you get? Oreo, double Oreo. Where are we? Sebastian Jones ice cream in Linden Hills. How is it? Ten out of ten Oreos. One of the best flavors. Although I didn't get a sprinkle color. What is that flavor? Uh, caramel pecan. I haven't tried it yet. It is 6.38 a.m. and we're back in New York City. It's Wednesday morning. I flew here yesterday. Um, yesterday I got dinner with some friends, which was very fun. A lot of good food. Also got some candy as well from this Danish candy shop in the Lower East Side called Bon Bon. And that just fell. Awesome. Anyways, we're ready to go on our run. It's already 60 degrees outside. If you're running in like the transitional period from spring to summer, take it easy on yourself. Kind to yourself. Take it slower than you think. You know, effort is what you should base your most your runs on. And I would just say, take it easy because the heat is not something to play around with. I'm super serious about like electrolytes. I have my element in this water bottle right here because I was hospitalized for dehydration last year. They thought it was like appendicitis. They thought it was kidney stones. They thought it was ovarian cysts. And then they're like, no, you're just dehydrated. So make sure you're doing something Thing. You can either add salt to your water, you can do coconut water, you can buy electrolytes. There's a lot of DIY options you can do, but take it seriously. So, I'm gonna take a little bit of Ready Steady by Joggy. Just kind of like a little boost to get me into my run. And then I'm gonna do my stretching and my dynamic. I'm gonna wear these shoes. Now these Hoka's kind of make me sad because these are what I was gonna wear on race day. These are the Carbon X um, by Hoka. <laughs> I finished this book on the plane and it's great and I recommend it for anyone who wants to learn more about cannabis and athletes because a lot of athletes use it and there's not that many books on it so this might be like the only piece of literature you could find. There's also a lot of podcasts and like YouTube videos about kind of this area of study but I would say this is the first book that I've found and you learn a lot. All right, let's head out the door and go on our run. Yeah, let's get it. Morning, we finished up our run, ate breakfast and now I need to get into my actual day. I have an event at 1 p.m. and then I have to go straight to PT at 4 p.m. and then I have another event at 6 p.m. Extroverted day. This week is gonna be a challenge of my social battery. I have events every single night, which I'm all very excited about, but you know me, I like to recharge in my bed right there by myself. So we'll see. The thing I need to do is organize this area. All my dresses and stuff. Sometimes it'll be bad when I get home and I just throw shit on a hanger and it doesn't really fit. I don't really want to organize it, but I, I need to do it. So we're gonna organize that. I have to film some branded content and then event at 1 p.m. It's like 10.30 right now. So let's get after it. So it's two hours later from when I first recorded this saying like, I have to do with this, which I did. This is so much nicer, <gasps> amazing. But then I ran into this issue where I decided to do another drawer and another drawer and another drawer. And now I have three bags of clothes that I need to go donate. And I don't have time to donate them today, but we're going to an event. So here's the outfit. This new halter top by Lisa Says Ga. My sports bra tan is really bad from running. This skirt is thrifted. And then my shoes are reformation here. Okay, here's the fit. Uh, Lisa Says Ga, this headband I made. Uh, thrifted skirt and then my reformation Mary Janes. Let's get going. We're off to another event. My week of being an extrovert because I have a lot of stuff. This event is with Geneva for CMOS Relays. If you don't know Geneva, they're a platform that basically curates communities through group chats. They're like a sexier Slack or Discord, so going there. And my fit is kind of boring, but 
my social battery is gonna have to work. Good morning, we are going to Soul Cycle. You know, sometimes it's hard to take your own advice because I have this weird like Achilles pain. I went to PT for it and he doesn't think anything major of it. But it is better to take a day off or a few days off than be forced to take months off of something you love. That's me talking to myself about running. So I'm taking a few days off running. I do have to host an event on Sunday and it's Friday. So that'll be probably like my first intro back to running. But let's go to spin class, baby. Let's go sweat it out. What's up everyone? I took some lion's mane chocolate and then I decided to deep clean my entire apartment. So we're doing laundry. I need to like clean my pillows. And I have three bags of clothing that I'm gonna go donate to Beacon's Closet right now. Let's go. Morning live, I'm officially God's favorite because I donated three bags of clothing. And like, they probably didn't give me that much money, but I got new stuff. Circular economy, get rid of three bags and come home with one. I feel like that's a good trade off for my tiny fucking New York apartment. So overall, good day being a girl boss. Turn from Beacon's Closet, did a lot of laundry tasks, other things, my apartment, tip top shape. We're gonna go get some jewelry at New Top in Soho, but here's what I'm wearing. I'm so in love how easy this outfit is. These shorts kind of like, they're definitely like men's shorts, like men's inseam. They definitely give like Adam Sandler dad energy, but knowing myself, I'm always like on the go city biking and so they'll be good for summer. Life in the streets. I'm not in the mood to make a decision. I'm not feeling very decisive right now. So um, I'm gonna come back at a later time because I don't know why the fuck I went into a jewelry store with not knowing. But if you wanna go. Jewelry. Um, it's pretty well known, so I'm not ruining anything here. We freshened up our face and we're going to a dinner party event with Oddly. I'm so excited. I've never met Jensen and Ellie before. They're both based in California and they came all the way to New York and it's gonna be so fun. So we're gonna city bike there. Go out and crash your car. I don't mind being yesterday just to make it. We are going to host a half run, half solid core event in Nolita. I'm super excited. It's gonna be a pretty small group. I think like 22 people. My Hoka run clubs are like over 100, which is awesome. But it also gets kind of stressful to corral that amount of people like through the streets of New York. So I'm excited for a little chill run tonight. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel like I took you through a lot. We went to Minnesota, went to a lot of events, hosted some events, all the things. So if you're one of my YouTube girlies that is watching this video, you like, comment, subscribe, which I really appreciate because this is like brand new for me. It's like my smallest platform and I've been loving to have fun with it versus like having a pressure to have crazy amount of views or monetize YouTube, you know, maybe one day. But I wanna know what you guys wanna see on this channel. So let me know any videos that you are curious about. Some ideas that I thought about is like all the hokas I have and kind of what I use them for. I could do a pantry video, which I flashed in my last vlog, I think. I could do showing you my favorite spots in New York City. Anything you guys are curious about, how I became a content creator, let me know and we'll do those. I'll always like do little vlogs and you guys can look forward to those, but for the more informational, conversational videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll talk to you in the next vlog.